here they come to the strike. And there are two laps remaining. Five miles. Here you are with Davey Allison in that second position. Bobby Allison stays up in front. And they're beginning to mix it up back there at the back of that pack. All of those drivers battling for position as well. They realize there's some extra pickings further back and that Bobby Allison is doing what he predicted he would do. Run this car hard and keep it out in front. Davey Allison not relinquishing anything to his father. Stays right with him. Judy Allison looking on as her husband and her son battle it out in the million and a half dollar great American race. Out of turn number four. Here's Bobby Allison, the two-time champion. What must be going through his mind right now? Here's the white silk from Harold Kinder. Last lap. Parsons lies third. Texas Terry Labonte is in fourth. Neil Bonnet, the third member of that Alabama gang, back in fifth. And those two leaders draw away a bit. Davy Allison coming after his father. Looks down inside as they take it high in turn number two. Back straight away, final time to decide it all here this afternoon. Now, uh, Davey, what are you going to do? He's got less than half a lap to do. And they have enough lead. Uh, I believe this is going to be a battle between the father and son. I don't think anybody Davey. else can try it, but here he comes. He's going to do it. To the bottom. He's down low. Bobby Allison high. Davey Allison trying the inside move. Bobby Allison holds him off. They come to the strike. And the winner of the 30th annual Great American Race. Bobby Allison, Davey Allison, his son in second. Judy Allison is static. What a tremendous family performance. Look at him, David. Bobby waving to Davey. <laughs> Did you hear Davey saying, I made a try for him at turn four, but he was too strong. Well, those fans of David Hobbs interviewed at the first of the race said, I think it'll be the Alabama gang. Here they are. The Alabama gang has conquered the Daytona 500 in its 30th running.